The Bible teaches that it's food for the soul. Job said, I esteem the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. While I'm holding a crusade, a great deal of energy goes. So every day I eat a steak. It gives me energy. How many of us feed our bodies and our minds, but we neglect our soul, our spirit? I believe that if people will start carrying these verses and memorizing them, that it becomes food for your soul. Soul, soul. So guys, this video is going to be quite a bit different than what you're used to seeing on our channel, uh, being that this has been very spur of the moment and sporadic purchase here. Uh, as you see behind me, in my opinion, this is the world's coolest food truck we just bought. I've known about this truck for a few years now, and it's actually been out of commission uh, about that long as well. So we haven't even checked it out very well ourselves, so we're just going to do that today, kind of dig into it a little bit deeper, and we're not even sure that we're going to go in the food truck direction at this point. So that's where we're going to dig in now, see what we got to work with, and just try to make a decision from there. I actually remember when they were building this Frankenstein contraption. It's an old 50 model Chevrolet cab over and uh, we had the opportunity to buy this cab over from him. It was actually a five window, believe it or not. Oh yeah. Sectioned it into this old short school bus. And man, that school bus body looked rough. It turned out really <laughs> cool for what he had to work with. Yeah, I love the, the, the high forehead on it. It's what I'd call it, the forehead, but yeah, above the windshield. It's... Yeah, the mirrors are super cool to me and very necessary on something this big. Like I said, it just kind of reminds me of a huge worm. <laughs> Every time I look at it, that's what I think of, a huge caterpillar. I know one thing he had to do was uh, widen these fenders. So I don't know exactly what drivetrain it has up underneath there. Uh, obviously it's a dually, but you can see where they've sectioned it to widen the fenders here yeah. and the old filler's starting to crack open on it. But. I would love to go through here and just kind of rework a lot of the body work on it. I mean, I don't, I'm not thinking of any kind, any kind of show paint job, but something just to slick it out. I really don't like these holes in the front of the hood right. there. Yeah. I'm assuming that was probably for airflow to the radiator though. Yeah, probably so. It looks like radiators yeah. kind of. So Radiator's high. pretty high, huh? Yep. Looks like they had to do that just for clearance of the grill. Huh. It's got power brakes mounted in there sideways. The wiring don't look too terrible up here. No? I don't know. Looks like some house, house wiring and stuff here. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So when we, when we picked it up, I had to put a battery on it 
and it did crank up it fired right up but it was not running very good but it was pretty cold that day anyways uh, I don't know if it's uh, if this is carbureted or if this is like a throttle body injected engine or what but it's just a small block uh, 350 in it I believe and we'll be able to look at that on the doghouse a little bit better but it's it's gonna need some work this thing's gonna need some work to be road worthy again and uh, kind of be what we're looking for anyways but yeah I think we can we can weld that back up and figure out a different situation right. uh, to get some flow to that radiator. One thing that kind of bothers me too is when you look at how like wide it is in this area. Yeah. It, it's kind of it kind of looks funky. Yeah, it needs uh, it, it, either some like running lights or I mean the park lights or just head, another headlight. Yeah, I feel like you could do something to either relocate the light a little bit more center True. or yeah. add, and then obviously a bumper. Yeah. I'd love to go with some kind of cool, you know, early Cadillac bumper on the front of this. But yeah, that's kind of the front end of the truck. Not super crazy about this side door. Uh, just very, very primitive. Would be kind of cool in my opinion to do like a, a school bus yeah, type that would door. Be neat, yeah. So I guess you feel her up there, exhaust there. And these windows should fold down from the inside for basically serving and taking orders. Or air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's gonna be your main lighting inside too. Okay. Got our dually wheels on here. I think those are like 22s front and back, maybe 24s. No, so 22s. Wouldn't be my particular pick, but I think we could powder coat them a solid color and they'd look a lot better. Just washing them off will help some. Yeah. It looks to be pretty solid sheet metal wise, but there's no telling how much filler is actually on this truck. Uh, stink bug. Oh yeah. Could be the name of this thing, huh? <laughs> Back here, that up there is the exhaust of the Vena hood, I believe. And I don't know, that right there is either gonna be, so this thing has air ride on it. And I don't know if this was where you fill the tanks or if that's something to do with the cooking side on hooking up your gas possibly. Right, yeah. Got a hitch back here if we ever wanted to pull a little something or another. We forgot to mention that we've been trying to film this for 30 minutes now and non-stop people have been stopping asking about this. So it definitely gets the attention and I think with just a little bit of work and a little bit of our touch, uh, we'll have plenty of fun with this thing. Got the LED tail lights back here. Yep. Same deal on this side. So he did tell me right here is where you would plug in your um, for like your generator or your power to, oh, okay, to yeah. power in everything. The cords inside, it's about that big around. Super cool though. And in my opinion, it's definitely got some great bones to start with. Uh, that's kind of got the exterior of the truck, just a quick walk around on it. We're gonna go inside the truck and show you what it's like inside there. Keep in mind, this truck has been sitting abandoned for several years now, uh, so it's not pretty. So we'll go inside and check that out. Yeah, we're probably definitely gonna wanna open up these side windows to get a little bit more light in here. I don't know how they do it. Which one's open? It? This opens up. Right? Something here, I don't know. Oh. Pulls. Pull it. Maybe there's one on the other end down there. Maybe. This one, this one turned loose. Holds down, oh, I was going the wrong way. Can you catch that out there? Oops. Got it. What would you like, sir? <laughs> I think this one should open. All right, 
Michael Alpert. Can go down far enough. I guess that chain is meant The chain's holding it, yeah, keeping it from going all the way. You can see a lot better in here now, though. The old fryer here, and the old, I guess, griddle type deal. And look up here, there's. Man, that, that thing needs to be pressure washed, cleaned up. All this stuff needs to be cleaned up pretty bad. A stainless serving table there. Yeah. Scared to look in here. Yeah. Mm, not bad. It's not terrible, huh? It's got stainless all on the on all the roof and the sides here. I just don't know exactly what we'd even use to clean all this. Just degreaser, I guess. And Probably so. I, pressure I, washer. Maybe some oven cleaner, I don't yeah. know. Pressure washer more than anything, probably. So yeah, I don't know anything about, <laughs> I don't know anything about any of this. The hinge is broke on the top of this. One of those things where they, they probably pulled it somewhere to quit using for just a little bit to come back to it and right. kind of got busy doing something else. And yeah, and it's just crazy how something yep. setting just gets so bad. Just just mother nature. Yep. Little breaker box back here. We'll have to figure out what all that runs. Oh, so that was going to be a, a gas line. Oh, yeah. Back there, I guess you hook a little tank back at the back. Maybe they could have something rigged off the hitch or something to hold it. Took a short person to work in here. Yeah, I can almost stand up oh, yeah, in right this there. spot, but that's about it. I so see. what is this? Just a cooler of some sort? Uh, maybe so. Fridge. Yeah. That ain't bad. At least there ain't no food in here, huh? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Huh. I figured you're cooking lunch for us, so. Look at there. It's an old order form or pricing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. so if you want to... You want a Philly, it's gonna cost you eight bucks. You want a ribeye, nine bucks. You want a patty mount. We got it all. <laughs> Pretty neat. Super cool. So yeah, there are some lights up here. Oh yeah, both sides. Right. For serving, you know, at night. I feel like though, this is, and I guess this one opens up as well though, that side. Right. But in the daytime, there's plenty of natural light. Did you? Feel the heat back yes, there? Yes, yeah, I felt that. It's like something was on back there. I know. I guess it's just coming through that that vena hood. That old black probably absorbing everything too. So yeah. So here's a tank. I never even thought about that because there's a sink up there, right? Yeah, there's a, just a little bitty one, but yeah, it's the sink. So yeah, they've got a fire extinguisher, some kind of a tank right here. I guess it might have yeah, a pump. I see, the, I see the drain going for the... Yeah. So, yeah, we've got like a holding tank to hold water and stuff. That's cool. This I definitely think that, I mean, they were using it. It just kind of takes some cleaning up. Right. Once again, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just kind of went downhill from setting. But I yeah. sure know they served some good food from it. <laughs> yeah, I know the steaks were great. At What's least the from the engine? restaurant. I guess we can look at the engine up front here. Should lift up. Oh, I'm right in the way. Uh, lift up or have to pull outwards with it because it should lift up, but I just don't know how high. Huh. That's weird. Let's see, can we get it to set off to the side? Oh wow, oh, it's got an LS motor in it. Huh, well that's cool. Yeah. But it ain't running too good, so <laughs> I don't know what the deal is on that. I would have thought it would have been carbureted or something, because it, it's almost like when it first cranked up, 
you know, it just wasn't running top quite right until it warmed up, so I'm sure it has some kind of a bad sensor, sensor of some sort. Which there should be like an OBD connection, connection yeah, to read it, and I guess that's the computer and stuff over there. That's cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So I'm wondering on the frame if that ain't maybe just like a Suburban or Tahoe or I don't know, we'll have to look up underneath it and tell. Yeah. Let me get resituated here. Um, I guess we can hook that battery back up and try to make it down to the other shop where we can start cleaning it up check it out a little bit more right hopefully it'll make it down there so guys all this talking about food has definitely made me work up an appetite with that being said this video is sponsored by factor now factor is a company that specializes in delivering pre-made meals directly to our doorstep with factor every meal is healthy and made from scratch so you don't have to worry about the big details in the kitchen every week we receive meals from factor that are prepared and ready to eat in just a matter of two minutes which works perfect for us to just pop it in the microwave and get back to work. Now this is not just a cheap TV dinner. Factor meals are always fresh and never frozen. So all you have to do is heat, eat, and enjoy. So for us, Factor works out really well because we're not having to break away and go to the grocery store or stop in at a busy restaurant. We simply just pick out what meal we want, pop it in there, and two minutes we're done. So if you guys are interested, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code TURNINGRUST50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com or click the link below and use TURNINGRUST50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Now let's get back to the show. So in order for us to buy super cool projects like this food truck, we definitely have to do a little flipping on the side around the shop. With that being said, we're hoping that this 1964 C10 will do just that. So we're just gonna take a look at it, see what we're working with, and hopefully we can flip a little cash on it. Well, what do you think about her? I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. It's got a pretty cool patina, don't yeah, it? Yeah, really cool. It's, yeah. It's kind of what caught my eye when I seen it on Marketplace. Look at the inside. Oh, wow. Pretty slick, huh? Yeah. Somebody started the hard part for us. Yeah. But as far as body-wise goes, I mean, it's straight. Really straight. There's no rust through. I'm assuming they probably put new rockers on it at some point but they're always rusted out right there yep and this side here is the same way no major dents right, or yeah. anything yeah it looks really good but it seemed to run pretty good it fired right up for me just a little 283 got power brakes but they ain't got no power steering <laughs> Well, I'd rather have power brakes and power steering than if I had to mm. make the choice. You might change your mind once you drive it. <laughs> new battery, new alternator. Little old bitty breather. Yeah, little old bitty carburetor. Yeah. I'm going to see how it cranks up real quick. Like I said, it fired right up last night. Sounds pretty good, don't it? Sounds really good. Notice any kind of leaks or but my main issue was just there's some kind of slack in that steering it's a little bit all over the place and the transmission is just a power glide oh yeah and in between first and that next gear something a little weird seen but he hadn't drove it in a while either i don't so, know could be anything just might need to get some working on it i mean yeah. driving it 
could take a whole lot though to, I mean, it's a cool truck like it is. Inside already being nice, maybe do some cool logos on it. Yeah, that'd be sharp. Looks like the bed could use some new wood. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's brand new molding I left in here. Oh, I wow. forgot all about it. So we got all new, the molding, chrome molding that goes along the outside. Oh yeah. And then I think he said, yeah, the bed strips. Oh, that'll help you. Yeah. What about clips? Yeah. Oh cool. The clips are there too. So I mean with that, why not go ahead and fix the bed right, as yeah. well. I'm glad that stuff's still back here. No one knew what it was, it looked right, like trash. Yeah. I guess we'll just go ahead and load the thing up. Get it back to the shop where we can check it out a little bit more. Huh? Like I said, she's pretty, she's pretty straight and pretty rust free. Right. I think maybe they had put, you know, rockers on it and gotcha. possibly cab corners. Yeah, it looks like they patched it in there. But the inside is pretty nice. It's decent, yeah. Um, Did you say you had the trim or? or yeah. You? Yeah. Okay. So back here, I've got brand new, uh, all the molding for on the, the line sides. outside, and okay. then it's also got the strips for new the, wood. That's in the right. Bed. Yep. So I believe the clips are there and everything. Then, you know, they put wider tubs, which- I'm Is the rear end narrowed or no? I don't think so. In all honesty, it needs a wider wheel. Yeah. Because you could still come out this way quite a bit. Uh, but yeah. it is all converted to five lugs, so maybe it is a little bit A narrow. little bit narrow. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty fat. Yeah. Well, let's but. start it up. Little 283. And you know, I told you that transmission was uh, acting kind of weird or whatever. Right. I put, it was low on fluid. So okay. now it's, it's good. It's okay. Sweet. But obviously there's some reason why it lost a little sure. fluid. But, uh, but yeah, I'll fire it up. There's temperatures quick. outside, you never know. Yeah. Glass packs. I mean, it's it's quiet, but I think the right exhaust, different wheels. I don't know. I've got a cool vision in my head. Right. <laughs> Does have power brakes, but just manual steering. So okay. that was another thing that I was gonna. Uh, man, just when you have power, when you when oh, you, it's everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, let's go down the road in it. Okay. You want to drive? Or? Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay.
Yeah, maybe I a little high. But you'll notice that steering wheel needs to be taken off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to me, that threw me off, and there's some there's some play in it. to look up underneath the front end and to see, you know, uh, I'm sure tie rod ends, stuff like that. Or it could be in that steering box. Just looking for some other kind of little toy or something? Or? Yeah, I mean, I flip a few. Yeah. So, I, I don't mind. I, I don't mind doing either mechanical or cosmetic. I just don't usually like to do both. Right. Uh, so, yeah. And I don't think, I mean, somebody's probably going to put a, you know, 350 in it and a different transmission, but I think I can paint it and sell it like it is. Yeah, I was, uh, my plan is to kind of give it a theme, you know, with logos. Right. And uh, replace the wood in the bed, just the little things. Right. That flipper's there. <laughs> yep. It's just got a little play. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> I'll send you pictures along the way. Yes, sir. Way back there. Yeah. Not bad shape at all, though. No, it doesn't look too bad of shape. 
Man, these old square bodies are getting hard to find. And I remember back in the day where we had them in abundance. Yeah. <laughs> no motor, no transmission. Yeah, I got a pretty good little den over here on this door. But other than that, it's pretty solid. All oh, the hood's back here. Inside's pretty rough though, ain't it? Yeah. It's like most of us there, but tore apart on the gauge cluster. Yeah, it looked like somebody may have needed parts. Yeah. No key in it. Is it locked up? Well, of course. Yep. That'll be fun. Wheels are turning a little bit, so that'll make it kind of challenging on loading. Good grief, one lug nut back here. <laughs> <laughs> tires on that side, or? There's tires, but the tires are not, they're, they're broke on the beads, so. Right. So yeah, basically four flat tires, but no engine transmission, it ain't gonna weigh a whole lot. It may be pretty challenging getting the trailer back here right. to it, though. Uh, I guess I'll just start backing up here and assuming it'll roll. Hopefully none of the brakes are locked up on True, it. True, yeah. So guys, on this episode, we bought the world's coolest 1951 Chevy cab over food truck, as well as a 1964 C10 we were able to flip for a little cash. Now on the 1985 C10, I definitely know we'll be able to find a buyer on it and make a little bit of money as well. With that being said, what are the plans gonna be for this food truck? I definitely think that we'd love to have some kind of cool turn and rust food truck around the shop, but what would you guys love to see done with this truck? As always, thank you guys so much for all the support that helps us to be able to do what we love for a living. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell, check out our Restore channel as well, and we'll see you on the next one.